I just said to Reggie, you know, the, the crazy thing is, okay, everyone, when you say Russo Brothers, everybody says, of course, the film is good. It has yeah. to be good, yeah. right? That's the level you... There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on us. We and have then to make you, I watch it in the cinema, the yeah. gray man, and I think, what the heck? Yeah. You know, you, you think, old as I am, I saw everything. I didn't. Okay. So <laughs> is it that you always have to top yourself? What's wrong oh, with this? <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with this? <laughs> yeah. Please, can you tell us? I, I don't know. Okay. We just love Should movies. we just I retire? <laughs> no. But I so. just think, how, where does it We're come awesome. from? I you mean, know? this movie, look at the movie. Our, our every movie, every yeah. movie is an incredible opportunity, right? We don't take, we never take anything for granted. We're so thrilled to be able to do what we do, and especially in a movie like this, to bring together this talented cast, uh, our wonderful crew that we've been working with for many years now, um, who, who are the best in the world at what they do, uh, and then this great source material that we got to draw from off of Mark Greeny's novel. You know, it's just, it's a really rare opportunity, and Joe and I just sort of, you know, we just look for every opportunity we can find within the storytelling. Is it like I sometimes, Besides that, you of course you have to be talented as a filmmaker, but are you really playful, man? Were you like that as kids? We were. Where does that come from? Your visuality and that. I mean, we have a very devious sense of humor. You know, we really do like to joke around quite a bit. We have a hard time taking anything seriously. Uh, a lot of what we do is making fun of movies at the same time that we're celebrating them. Uh, and uh, and I think that that's just you know who we were growing up. We loved movies, but we'd also make fun of them. We'd make jokes about them, you know. Uh, and uh, and it's just like you know the, the intrinsic to our identity as filmmakers, and we can't shake it. You know, um, we're you know we you know we have a smile on our face when we're making something like The Gray Man. You know, it's it's big, it's fantastical, it's spectacle filmmaking. Uh, um, you know, we you know we try to make a movie that we would enjoy watching. Um, you know, because a lot of what we do comes from the feelings that we had watching movies when we were younger, and we now want to pass those feelings on to a new generation of, of audience members. Do you sometimes have the feeling that you stayed young? You know, in the sense of playful. You have an adventure playground, but you get. Paid a lot of money for it, and I it's a lot of work. So, of course. That's a, yeah, I know. I, I think it is a good yeah. way of putting it. I mean, look, yeah, we try to create an atmosphere on set where people feel very comfortable and people are having fun, and they know that they, you know, everybody's very professional, of course, but they, we want to make sure everybody feels empowered to contribute everything yeah. they have to the movie. So we like a lot of ways you do that is just creating an atmosphere that's not too serious, do you know what I mean? Where people can laugh, people can, people know that we, we're all gonna make mistakes, um, but we wanna find things, you know, we wanna find the best idea, always. And so do we, so we, number one, we enjoy being in that kind of atmosphere, but number two, I think it, it does really create an, an environment where people can do their best work, because they they're loose, you know, and they're not afraid to fail. But this is what the actors and actresses tell, you know, mm -hmm. that they feel safe, they have the feeling it's fun shooting and yeah. it's an action movie and it's not, you know, you have to, I mean, what do I know? I'm not yeah. a filmmaker, but you know, you have to concentrate. Things can go wrong, right? Yes. And, but you still achieve that. So you are kind of psychological wizards a little bit also. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> you have to be a, a little bit, I mean, there's a level of sophistication that you're, you know, that, you know, you don't, you, the way that with you, the way you communicate to an actor, uh, is critically important. But you know, this isn't Ibsen. This is Commedia dell'arte. You know, this is a very different style, uh, and and it's you know, it's it's meant to be uh, embraced. The spectacle is meant to be embraced, uh, and at times you forego logic for fun, uh, and, and that's the ultimate mission of the movie. You know, I think um, life's too short to be. Serious. Absolutely. Yeah. Last question. You travel the world. I love that, you know, from destination, yeah. almost bondish, yeah, yeah. right? But better actually than that. Um, but that's me. Um, <laughs> was it like during the pandemic that you thought, let's get the heck out of the house and travel the <laughs> it world? It might have been that. It might have been a little bit of that. 
I mean, the original yeah. novel was certainly globe trotting. I mean, that's what we loved about it. It was a travel log, and that's part of the fun. It's escapism. Is you get to go to all these exotic locations with the character, and then watch him get into trouble, and then try to figure out how to get out of this very, you know, this beautiful location. So, you know, that's part of the the sex appeal of making the movie. Thank you so much. Thank so. you so much. Thank you. Amazing that was really question. lovely.